Good morning. You know what time it is because it's too early for it's your too early shit. for this shit. Ugh. Hello, Timmy. Oh, look hey, what's up, the little camera hold. <laughs> I know. Hey, I see you, son. Get it, get it. That's what's up. How you doing? I'm good, baby. How was your weekend? How was your weekend? My weekend was fun. It was fun. Nice big shot of good show in New York. But shout out to Joe Claire, my man, Joe Cleasy. Shout out to uh, shout out to uh, Carl Payne, John Hinton, and my man Smokey Suarez. Man, we had a good show. New okay. Oh, how was Carl Payne? He was he was funny first time I saw him. Hey, funny guy, real nice guy, real funny. I don't mean how was he funny. I mean was he fun? Did you have fun? Good morning, Jamon. How are you? Yeah. Yeah, we talked for a while, man. You know, you we talked for a while. Yeah. So he is he a part of the Martin reboot? I don't know why he didn't say I know people don't like that stuff. You know, we do. They don't like when you ask about some shit that's old. Like, that's like me asking John Hinton. It's, coming. it's huh? coming back. Reboot. Oh, I don't I want to ask. That's like asking John Hinton about living single. What's up with Khadija, nigga? No, it's coming back too. Living single is supposed to be coming back. They're all working on it. Oh, okay. So my fuckers just gave up on, on trying to create new shit like what we're doing. I know. With, 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 yeah. you know, with Timmy. What up, Javon? Oh, little Timmy. <laughs> hey, well, hey, you see, uh, um, uh, what's the name about the movie? The Jeffersons. You saw that, right? No, what? Oh, the, the, the Jeffersons is coming out. It's gonna be um Jamie Foxx and Wanda Sykes. Are you kidding? No. Nope. So, Jamie is George. Yeah. And Wanda is uh Weezy. Yeah. The fuck out of here. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, wow. Good morning, Reverend Bowie. Welcome to the party, sir. How you doing? I think it's so delayed here. Like, um, I see reactions and stuff. I see we got more people than I can see we got on this thing. They're going to have to work on that. Right. Yeah. yeah. How was your weekend with the DC Go Go? I see you got the Go Go hat on. So listen, this was DC Native Week. Y'all can see, as y'all can see, I got the good two hundred two on my girls. The girls is rocking the two hundred two. Y'all see that? <laughs> yes. So DC, good morning, Reverend Boy. DC, uh, you know, recently had that whole "Don't Mute DC" movement because of the gentrifier who decided that the noise pollution that's been going on for two years on the corner of Florida Avenue and Georgia Avenue is unacceptable for him because he can hear it from his condo, okay? And he ain't having it. So he started this whole ordeal, like movement, where he wanted to mute DC, basically, and, and stop that go-go foolishness. So, it became a movement, uh, DC One, and yesterday um, they celebrated by having uh, DC Native Day. You see all that? That's nice. So yesterday was that. It was this, then it was that, <laughs> and don't the don't mute DC movement just kind of took off. So he said, I'm, take, I'm dressed like a DC scratch ticket. Funny you should say that. <laughs> <laughs> Funny you should say that because this was a part of the DC lottery uh, giveaways. So you bought a, two scratch tickets and you qualify for a t shirt and a pen. Where's my pen? I got my pen, my little DC 202 pen towel right there. I'll put it on later. I know. I, that's, that's, that's a big ass scratch ticket, fucking with Nikki. You need you need silver dollars, you need eight silver dollars to scratch that big ass ticket with Nikki. You can't <laughs> spend time on that ticket. <laughs> Some big ass tickets in front of her chest. Yeah. You, you better get us a half dollar. <laughs> uh, 
So anyway, that's what happened. And right. um, hey, Bree, did I say hi to Bree? What about no, hey, Bree? We didn't hear about Trey Songs. Hey, Bree, Bree, what's up? Welcome well, to the Trey Songs got a baby, I think. Is that's that what, what it is. Oh, yes, I, I heard about that. And they were saying it wasn't really his baby or any of that stuff. So I don't know. But yeah, we heard about that. So, Timmy. What's up, know. man? Hey, Ronnie. Yeah. I'm all right. <laughs> Look like yeah, the streets of my neighborhood drug dealer. You need to go ahead and uh, duck some bullets or something so our show could get picked up because we get that shit live. I we know. That's the thing. <laughs> I, I keep saying if I get shot on live, you know, I should have take off. We can't get no sponsors. You know, Doc, I'm going to have to put you up in a casket and have you stuffed and mounted and shit so <laughs> you can still be a part of the show. I must want to get shot and be like, get, we get, we're going to be sponsored by Smith & Wesson. <laughs> <laughs> the NRA, ABC, EFG, shit. We'll take anything. Man. So listen, some some stuff in the news, a few things, right? Mm -hmm. I lost their mind because you know I I don't know maybe Nick Cannon was the inspiration, but Gucci has decided that they want to do some dumb shit. Okay, Gucci is selling this eight hundred dollar turban, which is no more than a rag with fabric wrapped around somebody's head like a scratch ticket. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? Yeah. Who $800 for that shit? I don't know. You know, they tell me who is approving this marketing bullshit? Because first of all, that's disrespectful. Okay. I'll give you that. Disrespectful. That's, that's disrespectful to the A-Rabs. To the A-Rabs. That's disrespectful. Just like we had, just like we had the ski mask with the little black lips. What? Like a that's disrespectful. How? Now, you know if a motherfucker was on a plane with a Gucci turban, your ass would be looking too. I would not you be. No, <laughs> oh, you wouldn't. You sit beside a nigga with a Gucci turban the whole time, you're like, oh, shit. You know, the only reason a black person should fear a uh, terrorist attack is if you sit next to somebody white. They don't care about us. They don't hate us. We would be a casualty or a victim of circumstance. They're not out to get us. It's them they want. Uh, okay? So I would be them they want. me. Wait till we get off. We will help. <laughs> we will have been bus in front of all the white people and exit this plane. And you go ahead and do your thing, okay? They not That's out true. There. But that, nope. okay, nobody, nobody is wearing those. That's the dumbest shit ever. Yeah. Nope. Nope, well... You know, you know how it is. Some people, like I said, some people are in the fashion. Some, somebody will, somebody will wear it though. Somebody clearly somebody will. because Gucci is doing it. So what I don't understand is where do they come up with this shit? You know who who went six years in their little college education, had an extra years for fashion school to come up with that shit? That's what I'm. Y'all get that? Just wrap that shit like this. That's, that's, that's some shit y'all do at night. They should have got this shit from black women. Mama, wrap your brain, I wrap your brain like this, Shereen. Wrap your brain. That's what they got it from. They got it from black women. That's how black women go to bed, just like that. All, the, all black women with brains go to bed like that. And me, man, man, like, yeah, look at turban. That's all that. That's they, they stole it from black people. That's probably right, because we are the inspiration for a lot of fashion trends these days. But uh, I don't, I don't think this. Maybe Nick was, maybe, maybe was the inspiration for this one. I don't know. <laughs> uh, John said Gucci's losing out here. Clearly. I mean, that, yeah, they are losing. That's bananas, man. I don't know what the hell they were thinking. But I know that's that is bananas. I'm just trying to I'm not here. So. Little Timmy, when's the last time you've been on vacation? Been a while, been working, honey, on the grind. You have? So I want to send you and your family on an all-expense vacation. Yeah, I'm going to be 
then pay vacation to the Taco Bell. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. The new Taco Bell. Yeah, I saw that. Welcome to the Taco Bell Resort, sir. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I like Taco Bell. Well, you you have your run of the whole Taco Bell facility. Taco Bell is now opening its very own hotel and resort in Palm Springs. Okay. Wait so, wrong with that? So. Pick up the kids and get ready, boo, because we get ready to do it big. Wait, wait. For all the free chalupas, I eat them chalupas. And you'll be in the bathroom the whole time. You yeah, and all. You got that right. I got to get you a place with multiple bathrooms, though. I did ask because you know you shitty, Timmy. Oh, whatever. You and I'm full of shit. Huh? I'm full, I'm full of shit. I can care less. Chalupa. Is that, it? That, it, is that what the front of it looks like? That's what it looks just like the restaurant. That's crazy. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Taco Bell Resort. Yeah. So I, you I know what? What? Other, other people going to do the same thing. You'll start seeing probably Burger King Resort, McDonald's. Watch. I, I guarantee you. It'll yeah. be a trend. Safe to say. That's probably going to happen. Look at the little chairs yeah. and stuff. You go in there. That's probably, no, that's probably what your room going to look like right there. Right. Watch. Room. Y'all better get a Ben Chili Boy Resort. Watch. Ben Chili Boy Resort. I think they oh. should. Yeah, Ben's is one of the most iconic landmarks in DC, next to the house, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have smokes. Go ahead. Your, your bed gonna be shaped like a ass smoke. This is a honeymoon <laughs> tree. <laughs> in, in case you run into some disappointment, it also. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I think I just spit my coffee. I was trying to hold it. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever seen. That's the first time I've seen you spit out. <laughs> you usually just swallow. <laughs> I'm practicing to becoming a squirter. <laughs> I was watching. So, are you a porn guy? Well, I'm a porn guy. You're it's a on here. No. <laughs> I don't watch porn that often. I've only seen it 4,000 times practicing. Listen, I was watching a video somebody sent, Disgusting Lester. I'm going to tell you. I'm just going to come right out and say it. Disgusting Lester <laughs> sent me a video. And it was, um, it was, it was like, uh, it was crazy. The lady was just, and, and I kept watching it, and I was really watching it for research, okay? Uh-huh. I was watching it for research because I just wasn't sure that it was real. The lady was squirting out like a, a water faucet. Is that real? Uh, I've seen it. I, 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 you, know, you know I've never made a woman do that, but I heard about it. I'm not made a woman. Woman said to me, she was peeing. She was peeing. I take that back. Go ahead. What? A woman? I ain't never that woman. I seen a woman pee before. I ain't never peed on me one time, but I ain't never seen a woman. That's great. I don't know about that squirting shit. I, I'll never see that in my lifetime. That should never happen. <laughs> well, you think so? Do you think it's pee? I don't know what it is. I don't know what that shit is. I, I have know. no idea what it is. I don't know. But I wonder. I just wonder. Like, I, I want to see if squirters really are squirters. Anybody know anything about squirting? They got showed. I'm looking around the corner. No. No, we got a whole bunch of dry coochies on this show. You know, we got a cheap show. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> put, your hand, put, your hand, put your hand down there for like an emery boy, like you filing your nails. <laughs> you definitely not a squirter, girl. What you do? What are you doing? Filing my nails? <laughs> I don't know. I just wonder if it's real. I don't know if it's real. Are we? Are we yeah. No, we're not. I don't know, Timmy. That's crazy. I don't you know, know. We said no dry coochie. <laughs> Let me get rid of this Taco Bell thing. No dry coochie. I don't know. I just wonder. Like, I do squirters really exist? I'm sure they exist. 
don't mean, know. You have you ever seen one? You say you ain't never made nobody do it. No, I see. I see one girl. What? Oh man, I think we lost Timmy. That's in the girl squirt Kool Aid. Shut the hell up, Timmy. <laughs> that wasn't no Kool Aid. She was on her Yo, period. <laughs> you nasty. <laughs> Stupid. That was not no Kool Aid, boy. You know she was on her period. How old were you? What are you doing? Why are you oh, why are you staring at the thing like? Oh, I'm looking huh? around, girl. You know, you know I'm in that. What? Oh Lord, I think we losing little Timmy, y'all. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. What happened? Was that your internet? No, somebody called. Somebody made my phone call. Oh, okay. Yeah, but um, I don't know. Did, 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 did my, anybody respond? The screen really told you. We got a cheap show. Nobody responded. I think we might have too many things happening for them or something. No, huh? you know, we, we got no problem is we got to get a better show. A better show? Yeah. This squirt, squirt is come on better shows. Right now, we just got, you know, normal coochies. <laughs> we got normal coochies right on this show. We got normal coochies show. <laughs> Maybe when we get a better show, somebody will answer the question. Is there anybody out there who has ever seen a squirter, real life squirter? Does, do squirters really exist? I'm watch, not sure. Watch, watch, Jamon, watch Jamon answer. Me? Like, I ain't talking about men, nigga. <laughs> so, like, me? Jamon is a real life squirter. <laughs> Jamon. Well, he squirted out his ass. That's why. <laughs> oh, you're so nasty. Now that's nasty. Okay. No ass squirts, please. Yeah. All right, little Timmy, we got to wrap this thing up. We got started late and yeah. uh, we got a little more movements to attend to. I want to shout out um, Big Dell. Our producer who has been under the weather, he is obviously not feeling well today. He's right. not with us. So we will see that tomorrow, everybody all in place. Um, I'm glad you made it through the weekend, little Timmy. Yeah, no time, but I had a good weekend. And I'm, I mean, I'm, it was a blessed weekend. So I'll be back in New York again this Saturday. Okay, good. So follow little Timmy, y'all, at Comic Cop 2. Follow me at Nikki Moore Funny. And as usual, we'll be here each and every weekday morning tomorrow. We're back at 1010. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, we're just going to get on out of here for now because, as always, it's too early. for this shit. Yeah. Holla. Um.